Hi everyone, Analysis Architect here, your coach, mentor, guide, whatever you want to call it. So, I've had a number of people say that they're very confused on their positioning, they're very confused on how to take choke points or take a stance uh, on certain maps. And I feel like YouTube itself doesn't really do a good job of explaining uh, how you can approach these issues, problems with said characters. <clears throat> and more so than, than not, it's usually the support line and the tank line. Because one is funneling the other through resources, and resources being spent means that, you know, by the time you get to a fight, you pretty much don't have what you need, whereas the defending team in said situation have all of their uh, resources, so it makes it very difficult for the attackers in that situation to really do anything. So uh, I wanted to make this video about certain heroes that find it more difficult than others to get through choke points and get through like choke pressures depending on certain maps and stuff so one of the most notoriously known difficult maps in the game to get to the first point on is Numbani and uh, Numbani on attack is very very difficult to get through mainly because your very first gateway choke point is right outside the spawn like, you could have any um, flank DPS with a bit of range shoot you from the the position where you are. I mean, you kind of have to expect for shield and not to save you. But let's just say that there's a widow up there, or there's a soldier. We have a soldier here to demonstrate what will happen if we don't have a shield. So, just like that, you have to go back to the spawn, you're watching replay, you're getting salty, you're pissed off now, and your teammates are flaming you because you didn't stand behind anything, really, and you have to go again. Now, the problem with this is that it introduces too many different mechanics and things that are just overly complicated. And Numbani really does favor the defenders, at least on first point, a lot heavier than the attackers on first point. So one thing that we like a couple of things we can do to eliminate uh, dying from the get-go even without shield is to use natural cover to our advantage. Um, so I'm only playing Genji here right now just to like, move around the map easier but for certain heroes you don't have any mobility and that's fine. So if we just go ahead and swap to Mercy. Mercy, uh, right now, she doesn't have anyone that she can GA to, right? We have to assume that she doesn't have Valk, because she wouldn't have Valk. So, obviously staying with your team is optimal, but what if you didn't have the opportunity to uh, GA to a teammate, right? So, obviously just walking in a straight line is going to get us killed because we have people shooting at us. So what we try and do is we manip manipulate movement in a way so that we can use it to our advantage. So in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to get from the bus to the choke point, uh, to, the, uh, to the first point capture with just using movement, nothing else. And if this uh, other person uh, on Soldier 76 kills me before I get to the point, then it's an example to show you that, you know, it's it's the enemy, like, uh, killing you. Um, but hopefully we don't get killed by them, and hopefully we get to the point without them killing us. So, yeah, it will be like a little, a little, a little task of mine. See if I can get to the point without, without dying. Now, obviously... We have to assume all uh, pathing, so we're going to take 
the first part. The first part is the easiest one. We're going to take main, and then we're going to take the high ground, and then we're going to take blue. I feel like blue is probably the easiest, especially when you're playing Deathful, because like blue, you can eliminate a lot of like, um, a lot of like damage up into, up until you get to the choke point, which you you kind of lose out on a lot of other values, which I will explain, such as high ground and stuff. Okay, but we're basically just going to try and get to the first point without dying. So we know that their rocket's gone, and we feel a little bit safer. And then we get to point. So what are the things that we're looking out for when fighting against a soldier? The main thing we're waiting for is the helix rocket. Why? Because the helix rocket does about, if I remember correctly, it does about 80 damage. It's like 80 or 100 damage. So, yeah. There's a hundred and it does actually does 120 damage. So that's like soldier's burst. Realistically, you only need to do about how much does he need to do? He needs about to do about 80 damage for his left click, and then the rest can just go into the helix. So as long as you're around like half health, he can pretty much just kill you straight away. And it's very easy. And he can do it from a fair distance. I wanna say that's about I want to say that's about 25, 30 meters, something like that. So again, soldier from this distance can kill you. But what we do to counteract soldier's play is we wait for him to use helix rocket and then we move in because he's no longer a threat. He can't kill us. He has to, sol he has to solely rely on his aim. So when we're taking uh, someone like Mercy and we don't have anyone to fly to, but our teammates are up here, for example, where I'm shooting and everyone's just kind of like, left line of sight of us and we have nowhere to go. If we are stuck doing pathing, this is exactly how we do it. We hug this wall, we see that there's someone or a threat, and we just basically piss them down because for us it's easy to um, to regen. We don't have to we don't have to use an ability to use it, it's just passive. Which is already like winning over the other person which needs to use their ability. As long as you're as long as you're making the other person use resources for something that you get for free you're already winning that 1v1. You just need to stay the distance and make sure that you calculate the the more damaging abilities, such as in this instance, Helix Rocket with um, Soldier, Soldier 76. Okay, so that's Mercy.